Hey everybody, it's Neil here from Post to Post. Thanks for joining me today. I think you either clicked on this video for two reasons. Reason number one is you're a longtime viewer of the channel and you know who the GOAT is and you wanna see him talk about his Montreal Canadiens. Or you're, you're person number two, you're maybe you're new to the channel, you have no idea who the, who the GOAT is and you clicked on this video to find out. Well, if you are that second person, if you are new, the GOAT is my dad. Now, I don't really call him the GOAT, I call him dad, but you guys call him the GOAT. He has been deemed the GOAT since way back in 2017. So that's kind of how I refer to him on the channel. And uh, he is a Montreal Canadiens fan. He was born and raised in Montreal. And naturally, I was raised as a Canadiens fan as well. And here we are with the Canadiens going into the Stanley Cup Finals. And I know a lot of you want to hear what he has to say. Now, I've already released my video recapping the uh, the Vegas Montreal series. Thank you guys so much for watching that. Uh, I really appreciate that. The video did actually pretty well. It's about 10,000 views as I'm filming this right now. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. And I am going to be doing a video, pre uh, did I say preview? Montreal Vegas review, um, a Montreal Canadiens and Tampa Bay Lightning preview video. That is coming. And I think I'm going to aim for that either tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon. So before game one happens. And uh, I just wanted to kind of get this video out so you can see what the, you know, see what the GOAT thinks. So he kind of talks a little bit about Vegas Montreal. And then he talks a little bit about uh, Tampa Montreal as well. And, and his basic thoughts about Montreal kind of on the run that they are. Just, you know, how they're doing, what's his, how's he feeling, that stuff. I think you're going to like it. So uh, thanks for clicking on this video, guys, and uh, enjoy. Take it away, Dad, a.k.a. The Goat. I was very surprised when the Montreal Canadiens beat Toronto in seven games after being down three games to one. Very surprised. I was very surprised, not so much that Montreal beat Winnipeg, but that they swept Winnipeg. I found that very, very improbable, but it happened. And I thought after both series that this is good enough. Montreal has decided to prove a point in 2021, and they've proven that point. And now they can go back to the continuing the rebuild of the team, which was not fully competitive to win a Stanley Cup. And then the Vegas series got underway. Vegas won the first game. And I thought, okay, now the world is unfolding probably as it should. When you look at the, the paper on both sides, look at the two teams uh, statistically, uh, Las Vegas uh, seems to have had the better team uh, overall. Total points in the, in the regular season, uh, the point production, and statistics of the team itself and the individual players, particularly the offensive talent. You got Stone, you got Pacioretty, and Pacioretty's had a very, very good uh, second half of the year for sure, and including the playoffs, until, <laughs> until the Montreal series. And when Montreal won that second game, came home and won game three at home, uh, and went up 2-1, then they lost game four in overtime, but could easily have won that game uh, but for Carey Price's stick getting caught, flying out of his hands, and he's basically defenseless on the overtime goal. Not an excuse, it's just that's how it happened. Montreal got lots of crazy good bounces, like the giveaway by Marc-Andre Fleury in Game 2, when uh, Vegas was up uh, by a goal with less than two minutes to play. Fleury completely inexplicably coughs up the puck from behind his own net, and Josh Anderson is just standing there. Uh, it, when, when that happened, when that happened, I became more of a believer because as Montreal fans know, um, there is a large attachment to tradition, a large attachment to the history, uh, even the, the team's motto to you from failing hands, we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. In other words, the old guard of the team passes down its rich knowledge to the younger generation and they carry on the dream. And you know, for many, many years, decades, uh, the Montreal Canadiens have had that ability to have the tradition being passed from one uh, generation of players to the next until 1993 Stanley Cup run, which abruptly somehow ended Montreal's competitiveness uh, in the Stanley Cup. They made it a few times to the semifinals, 2014 most memorably, 
uh, when the New York Rangers probably were competitive against Montreal when Montreal had Carey Price in that. But after Chris Kreider took him out of the series and basically out of the rest of the playoffs, um, Montreal couldn't sustain that. And they lost to the Rangers, I think, in six games. Uh, and that's as close as they've been ever since, until now. So the Canadians go back to Vegas 2-2. And I actually started feeling okay. I was like, I'm okay. Up until that point, even through the Toronto series, the Winnipeg series, and the first couple of games of the Vegas series, I would dread the game night. Like I would worry all day long, just wondering how it was going to happen. How is it going to happen tonight? Um, you know, Montreal might win, but they probably won't. And when they won't, what's it going to be? What's going to be the thing that takes them down? Uh, will it be a bad giveaway? Will it be a stupid penalty? Will it be a bad injury to a very key player? Um, and it's a minefield of possibilities of things that could happen. But none of those things happened. And when it came time for game five, I'm feeling good about it now. It's like I'm not dreading this game. I'm actually looking forward to this game. I want to see how well Montreal does in Vegas now that they got some swagger. And they won that game. And they came back to Montreal on Thursday night for game six. And if they win game six, then they're, they're done. They're, they can wait the winner of the Islanders Tampa series. They get a few days rest. They don't have to go back to Vegas for a Saturday night game and they can just get it done. And all day Thursday, I also felt good. Not necessarily that the Canadians were going to win the game, but that they were going to play well, that they were going to keep doing what they're doing, which is frustrating the opposition, uh, maintaining what has become an absolutely stellar and excellent, a perfect penalty kill record, while at the same time mounting a power play record that's higher in the playoffs than it ever was in the regular season or many regular seasons going back a long, long time. The Canadians now are 30% on the power play and they're 100% on the penalty kill against teams including the Las Vegas Golden Knights and the Toronto Maple Leafs, two teams that were head and shoulders on paper better than the Montreal Canadiens. So now what's going to happen? Well, <laughs> we know what's going to happen. Montreal is going to be playing the Tampa Bay Lightning because on Friday night, Tampa Bay defeated the New York Islanders in that seventh game and now become the top seed, the host team, and Montreal goes to Tampa for game one on Monday night. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm not saying Montreal is going to win the series and therefore win the Stanley Cup, but I'm okay with Montreal being where they are and being the group that they've become, the chemistry in that team, what must be going on in the dressing room is pure frigging magic. And just enjoy the ride because here's, here's how Montreal wins either way. If Montreal wins the Stanley Cup, and this actually might happen now, it's going to be incredible uh, for the team, for the city after COVID and everything else. Uh, Montreal as a city, and I know I'm from Montreal, they're, they're my team. They're my guys. Uh, the city is going to go nuts in a good way. Uh, there'll be some idiots too. But in a, in a very good way, the city is going to go nuts and they need this relief badly. Um, and after 28 years, it's going to be magical if the Montreal Canadiens can win the Stanley Cup. But here's the best part. Even if they don't win the Stanley Cup, the amount of experience that Cole Caulfield, Nick Suzuki, or Terry Lekkinen, uh, the list goes on. Um, Kotkin Yemi, these young guys, these kids, like it and not so much, but, but the other three, um, the experience they're gaining now throughout this playoff run will be so valuable in the years to come, so valuable. And when they're back, and they will be back in a semifinal series or even a final series in a couple of years' time, they'll be ready for this, more ready than they are now. And right now, they look like they're really, really ready. So again, no predictions. I've given up on that. But very, very positive vibes for me uh, to the team as they go into battle against the Tampa Bay Lightning starting on Monday night. I am absolutely ecstatic that my team is back in the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time since 1993. And as some of you know, that have been long-term viewers, um, I happened to be in Montreal in 1993 when they had the parade to celebrate that Stanley Cup, and I got to watch the parade. We 
we went to the, the side of the road at Cotonez Street. I had my big old video camera in 1993, which was VHS, and it was a heavy thing on my shoulder. And I taped, taped with real tape, the Stanley Cup going by, being held up by Guy Carboneau and Patrick Waugh with the Conn Smythe Trophy. Um, the chance to repeat that love and that magic again now has just got me so thrilled. But I'm more positive about the long-term future of the Canadians than I've ever been uh, with this run that they're making. So either way, uh, the, the team has made tremendous strides in its future. But I really do hope it's a Stanley Cup. Um, I've almost dared myself to not say that, but we're getting close enough now, we can say it, that it, it is a goal. Four wins away. If Montreal wins just four more games, they've won the Stanley Cup. And that just blows my mind. So congratulations to the team. And thanks to you viewers. I know you've been asking, Neil, how, uh, how I react to various series. And I've put in a few uh, submissions here in the last couple of weeks as I'm reacted first with shock from Toronto and with uh, a little bit of shock from Winnipeg with at least how fast it went. I actually am not shocked anymore. And that's probably a really, really good thing because I'm now a believer in this team. Not, I've always cheered for the team, but I've never actually believed it could be true. And now I do. I do believe it can be true. Montreal has found a way to combat other teams' systems to a crazy degree of success. And I don't think Tampa Bay will be any different. I think if Montreal doesn't win, uh, it'll still be close. And Tampa Bay will know that they had to beat the best to win the Stanley Cup. Yeah.